This video is brought to you with Revolut. Revolut is a financial super app that is revolutionizing the world of personal finance as a digital banking alternative. It is a super app that is fit for your global lifestyle. You can travel all over the world with a contactless card that allows you to spend whilst avoiding rubbish fees, exchange currencies, open multiple currency accounts, get money at any ATM, and make payments and divide accounts with friends. You can also very easily monitor your expenses and budget each month. It also gives you a spare change of savings and is also one of the first to offer you a metal card. The metal card comes with 1% cash back, 24 seven concierge and airport lounges. This is all built into one easy to use and well-designed app. Not only that, but they are also the fastest growing fintech in Europe. It is super easy to open an account. You can literally do it in minutes on your smartphone. All you need is an internet connection and a valid ID. You can hold up to 28 currencies and that includes cryptocurrencies. You can instantly freeze your card as well for security and unfreeze at any time. You get instant spending notifications as well. And as I said before, you get built-in budgeting so you can easily keep tabs on your spending. You can exchange currencies within the app, super simple as well. Up to 28 currencies instantly exchange and avoiding rubbish rates. You can also send money globally very quickly within the app. Any of your friends and family on Revolut, you can instantly ping them cash anywhere in the world. You can also get access to gold, crypto and stock trading directly in the app as well and keep tabs on those. And there's even a function for kids. You can teach them how to manage money with Revolut Junior as well. I love it because I travel all over the world with my YouTubing. Well, not right now anyway. We're currently in a, currently in a pandemic, but most of the time I'm traveling around the world filming and I love Revolut because it's flexible, it's simple and also it's very secure and I avoid getting ripped off on rubbish fees wherever I go. And also one thing that's very good for me as well, I'm a bit of a scatterbrain, so if I don't have my card on me, I've effectively got my card when I've got my phone. It is a virtual card built into your phone. Wherever your phone goes, your Revolut card goes with you. So if you misplaced the physical one or you just left it at home, you're fine. So then exclusively with this video, get your free Revolut card or £5 starting balance using the link below. That £5 you can use to spend on some treats to stay in in the evenings or whilst we're going through this current lockdown period. That offer won't be around forever, so make sure you get involved. It'll be in the pinned comment and in the description. For now though, let's get on with the video. Before I go then, make sure you go and check out the Revolut offer. The link is below in the pinned comment and in the description. Now it's finally time to go. Get in the mix, get involved, and I'll see you all very soon, bye. Yes, welcome back to TGTV and more specifically, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. Here we go again. We are churning, we are churning. I hope you're all keeping well at home. I hope you're all keeping safe. I hope you're all behaving yourselves. Uh, today is a nice video. What's going on? James is here. James is here because today he's bought a new car. Now, my brother, he's my twin brother. For those of you who don't know, we shared a womb. Uh, he's two minutes older than me. Those are the basics. Those are the facts that you need to know before we go into this. He's bought a new car. He recently got rid of his Turbo S. Social distancing, James, you must stay over there, two meters apart. Thank you very much. It's actually uh, preferable as well. Unfortunately, I'll still be able to, to hear you. So, he's got rid of his Turbo S. Is this correct? You're, you're involved at this point, so. This is correct, Tom. Yes, I'm keeping my distance, as you know, as I need to, and as I'd like to. Good. So he sold his Turbo S. He sold his Turbo S, and in the meantime, during this period of impending uh, slowdown and further slowdown, he's decided to get himself a, a kind of a runaround. Probably what to last yourself up until the end of summer, maybe something like that. Yeah, maybe not even that long. Um, Who knows? It was, just, it was totally impromptu. Wasn't planned at all. Um, but do you know what? Let's give a bit of background. So basically, yeah. James got offered a deal on a car, a very cool car, um, that kind of what you, you and I actually really wanted one of these when we were a little bit yeah, younger. Yeah. Um, when the first iteration of this, of this model kind of was revealed and he got offered a deal on it so he just thought you know sod it why not uh, it's not that expensive it's a lot of fun it's actually a rare specification as a very cool solid fun car so he's got he's got a new car yeah, i just wanted to get something in the meantime that you know everyone knows that the market's volatile and blah 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 so i just thought why not get something that's at a different price bracket that i can enjoy that i can use and isn't something completely over the top that yeah it just made sense and people will be going oh is that a bad person then I'll say no, it's not the Turbo S replacement, it's an interim car. Alright, 
Is that okay, Tom? Yeah, he's got, got, yeah. A, got a little bit unpleasant there, mate, but <laughs> that's fine. That's fine on this channel. It doesn't really matter. No, but you know what I mean? I'm just queuing the comments. Just, uh, just... Yeah, I knew what you meant for most of it, but some of that, that I must say, lost me and probably lost some no, of the I audience. I don't like those comments, Tom, so I had to make No, it. you get all sorts in this channel, James. Okay, Tom. All right, without further ado, then, let's uh, reveal the car, and then we're actually, we're actually going to be tuning it today as well, are we not? Yes, we're going to have some more fun in it, because why would I not? We're going to be tuning it. So your new car and you're tuning it at the same time. James, that is very good. Usually we turn this into a four-part series. However, time is of the essence. So let's, uh, let's get on with it. Here we go then, here is the car in question. James, you're going to be called in at this point to discuss this car and go around it. So please, get nearer to the car, talk loudly. An Audi TTS, it shares the same engine as the Golf R, which I actually really, really like the Golf R, but I just fancy something just a little bit more nimble, a little bit smaller, and like Tom's explained, I wasn't looking for a TTS. But, when you know a good deal, you take a good deal, and that's what I've done. It was this just, what happens, James. It was mad not to. This is what happened. So anyway, free motoring, James, is that, is that well, I must stress that the car's not free, but when you get a car at a good price, it means you can come out of yeah, it. You can actually sometimes make money, Tom. So yes, can anyway, do. So yes, James. It's, mm. it's an Audi TTS. It's the 15 plate, which means that it is the facelifted version, which gives you the the great interior, the digital cockpit, and all that stuff. Anyway, yes, it's a Golf R engine, um, and it's Daytona grey which is cool. Daytona um, Grey, James. You can get slightly worse wheels than this, so it's got the good wheels on it. Um, don't ask me what they're called. It's got the red calipers, which are a factory option uh, with the TTS emblems on, so that's quite nice. Obviously, with the TTS, you get the silver mirror caps as well. Lovely, James. Cool. Yes. Um, but I think, you know, chalk or cheese, love it or hate it, this is what I really, really like about it. I've seen privacy glass, James. Yes, there's privacy glass at the back, Tom. Uh-huh, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yep. But this is the bit I like. Oh, we like dark grey with red, James, yeah, because... Thank you, you may step back into the frame now. It matches the calipers and stuff. Yep. Um, and running through quickly as well. We've got Same spec as my F12. Do you know I've got an F12, James? Yes, Tom, I do. I actually, you know, this is why I got it. Um, anyway, Good. no, it's not. Uh, it's got Bang & Olufsen as well, which is a nice little touch. Eagle Eye people will notice it is actually a manual. Manual, James. I was going to go, why get DSG? I had DSG? Stop having a go at them, for God's sake. No, but I did have DSG in the Gold TTI. <laughs> and do you know what? I haven't had a manual car to have a bit of fun in for years. Yep. Since the days of my Saxo VTR. Yeah, you had a sack of VTR, it was chaos. Yeah, since then, I haven't had a manual, so... Obviously, I couldn't change if it was manual DSG, could I? But the deal still stood, and the deal was good, as we've been through. Multiple. Very rare, James, because if you look Very at most rare. of these on Auto Trader, James... Six I million. like Auto Trader. That's sick. That one. Reverse. Ah. There we go. So anyway, so that's, that's it. So <laughs> it's a manual six-speed TTS. Low, low mileage. Lovely, 30 odd K on the clock. Yes. Matt condition, lovely. Red, you may not like it, I think it looks cool. I think it works. It works really, really nice. Let's and come around the back, James. It's got the spoiler at the back. Deep we put, to the back. We you put know, it in oik mode as well. If you, saw, if you saw my... Uh, the wind goes up and down, James. If you saw my Turbo S as well, Tom, you'll realise I quite often like the badge. So it's debadged as well. Yeah, the that's sick. It, it, I will actually at this point say the tailpipes and stuff obviously weren't like that, uh, but a lovely mob. Uh, called I Valet came and respected social distancing and got the car looking amazing as well. Oh, so, so the car's been freshened. I Valet. Uh, we'll, we'll leave that details probably. Lovely, in James. So yeah, so there we go. There it is. Um, I won't harp on any more. I just think for the money, sub 20k I paid. What else? And if we want to talk about finance and stuff, it's about 140 pounds a month, Tom. Wow. So what else? 140 period, pounds a month. I don't want to lose. You know, I could lose the amount that this car cost me on buying a Turbo S replacement in this market condition. That's my point on it. What, you could, you could, you could lose 20 grand? I could lose grand. that depreciation in a month. If you buy like an idiot, yeah. I mean, yeah, I don't think cars are tanking that quickly. No, 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 but I'm just saying, who knows? So I mean, if you bought not? a McLaren, yeah, you'd, you'd yeah, just well, double that McLaren, in five I'll minutes. The... So, power-wise then, what are we talking? Uh, I think they're around 300 brake standard. Like and what are we hoping to get out of a tune today? Uh, I think they got up to 375, 380 brake. A um, little bit increased noise, a bit more just, I think just, usable fun it's four-wheel drive power that's that's going to be quick yeah it's going to be a lot of fun james and uh, obviously turbo so there's a lot of talk right should we get the car in get tuning and then yep. we'll uh, whiz, whiz through this yeah let's do it wonderful rolling her in then to dms oh we're at dms by the way i forgot to mention that we're at dms we're back here i like churning here actually so we're back at dms the pros of tuning and they will be tuning this this bad boy this is actually an engine as james 
rightly touched on that appears across uh, VAG Group cars. So they are very familiar with this engine and with this setup. So they should be uh, very well placed to put a tune on there. So something to own up to right now then. Apparently, and I didn't get the memo, and <laughs> James failed to tell me this, the work has already been done on the car. So this was literally just collecting it. So what DMS are actually doing here in light of kind of current circumstances and circumstances uh, impending upon us all, they're actually offering covered transport. So they'll collect your car and they will deliver it back up to 100 miles away and they insured up to five million pounds. So they'll come and get your car and they will do their magic to it and they'll deliver it back fully sanitized. So they've got procedures in place here that mean they can uh, collect it and drop it off. In that covered trailer there, it will not be towed by this car. You might be relieved to hear but that's the covered trailer. So do get in touch if you want some magic done whilst you're kind of uh, sat at home, they can do it all for you and completely, completely safe and they've got a complete policy in place. And that policy will be in place for I suspect months and months and months to come. Right then, car outside, uh, probably a very familiar face on the channel by now. Rob is back on the channel, so I'm gonna let him talk and explain what's going on. A, he knows what he's doing, and B, you don't hate him, so I'm gonna let him talk now. So then, what's happened here? Uh, James just asked for the typical upgrade. He wants better exhaust noise, more power, obviously standard. Yep. And uh, this is actually, I'll, I'll turn it off for a second, but this is a very rare being a, uh, a manual rather than a DSG. Yeah. Normally we'd do a DSG upgrade on the gearbox as well for quicker shifts. More positive engagement and uh, uh, throttle flipping on downshift. On the manual, the mapping is very careful to uh, give a very gradual gain of the torque. So it will be much more responsive and much more aggressive if you're in dynamic or individual mode, but still just smooth in comfort. No risk of the clutch slipping. Yep. So, it's a very different software setup to the DSG equipped car, but actually this should, in reality, in gear time to be quicker because the less loss from the from the gearbox to the through the gearbox, DSG gearbox will lose you circa 20 horsepower. So a manual gearbox is much more efficient and hence more power to the road. Once you put a gear shift into the mix, a DSG will always be quicker than a manual, but the manual is a bit more fun in my opinion anyway. And I agree. It's nice to have something different. Yeah, absolutely. This is the uh, same engine that's in the Golf R Mark 7. Uh, comes uh, 306 uh, horsepower standard, uh, 378 horsepower now, and uh, 500 newton meters. Jesus. 500 newton meters with a very progressive spread, uh, which you know, I showed you the graph earlier. The, the other thing that's very important about this, this engine is the new model of uh, the Golf R, the last of the Golf R and S3 was with a, a particular filter in the exhaust, which a lot of people talk about nowadays. It's not the be-all and end-all. Uh, it's, uh, it's not worse. It's, of course, it's not as good as a, uh, the less restrictive free OPF car. So this would be the ultimate spec, really. If this is pre-OPF then, this doesn't have any of the nonsense in it. Yeah, o OPF was from September September 2018. Oh nice. And uh, because pre-OPF they used uh, an additional injection system which is uh, indirect injection to to get the low speed before the turbo is really on boost. They, they get their, their emissions down by a very careful control of the fuel. That has a secondary benefit which if the older cars such as the Mark 6 Golf R, Golf GTI and such not, R8s, R, RS4s, there used to be carbon buildup on the back of the valves from indirect injection because no fuel was flowing over the back of the valve. This over time, 50, 60,000 miles can rob you of a uh, uh, you know, considerable amount of horsepower, maybe 20, 30 horsepower. Wow. The, the benefit of the system that's on this car, which has an indirect injection as well as a direct injection, although the design of it was for uh, giving you better efficiency, off boost and low speed, it actually keeps, it's spraying fuel on the back of the valve and keeping it clean. There's no carbon buildup. I've actually put a scope down here. We took spark plugs out, put a scope. We can see very clearly on the back of the valve, completely clean. Particular filter cars don't have that system anymore. So essentially no benefit or, or uh, anything right now, but in 50, 60,000 miles, some of those cars will need, will need a carbon clean. Uh, whereas this will never leave, you know, this, this actually as the car loosens up, it will only get more powerful. Really? Yeah, so. You like that? Yes, I like that. Yeah, you enjoyed that one. Ah, oh, perfect, see? There we are, some technical knowledge. And we've, uh, uh, you yeah, know, we've, we've done the exhaust valve control, 
and uh, James specifically wanted a bit more uh, crackle verbal on uh, overrun. Because he's a moron. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, seeing as he didn't want to be full time in that, uh, uh, you know, ASBO mode, we've we've actually we've done it to a safe level because this car still has cats involved, so it's not it's not crazy, but it's yeah, it's a safe level. But also, when you're in normal comfort mode, there's no there's no crackle. It's completely turned. Oh, nice! Off. It's nice to be able to turn it off. Yeah. I know it's it's fun being in hooligan mode, but it's really nice actually sometimes just to turn it off I and think, just I think be. James is only 99% of the time hooligan mode. Uh, he's <laughs> in ape mode right. most of the time, aren't you? Cretin. Should we, uh, can we listen to it stood still? Does it make a difference when it stood still? Or does it have to be on, on a load uh, moving along? It just needs to be warmed up. Which, uh... I mean, you've just had it around the block, so I guess it's uh, probably slightly warm. And I love the virtual dash. Yeah, so it's the it's the latter model, so it's got the full virtual dash there. I can't come close. I'm extended, extending there, my arm. So bear in mind. That's very nice indeed. Yeah, that sounds sick. It's like, so much more noticeable. We had none. You like that, boy? Yeah, I like that a lot. So it's nothing like a stock car, but it also doesn't sound. Too so it doesn't sound like you just put it on. No, it doesn't sound like it's been through Halfords backwards. It does sound. It, it sounds semi-factory, but for people in the know, they'll know there's a difference. Yeah, no, it's lovely. Very nicely done. Perfect. And then if I switch, if I switch around. Here we go, switching it up. Yeah, there's no burbles now. There's no like crackle on the overrun. So that's in what comfort or just like civilized mode? Yeah, there's a standard, yeah, yeah, box standard. The baboon mode uh, has been disabled, so you'll probably never have it in that mode, really. Simpleton, but yeah. Oh, interesting stuff. So 378 brake horsepower. 500 newton meters. 500 newton meters of torque in a tiny four wheel drive sports car and with a manual gearbox. It will be better on fuel now because the additional torque actually means you can use the higher gears. Ah. Uh, more, more effectively, which means that better fuel dry, economy. Probably not the fir the first two days you have the upgrade. There's no way you're going to get a better fuel economy because you just want to experience what the power's like. Yep. In normal driving, yes, typically maybe one and a half, two miles per gallon improvement. Really? Yep. There we go. Then it's actually a sensible modification after all of that. So it's a win-win, really, isn't it? Yep. Perfect. Good stuff, James. Very good. I think that's pretty much it. Perfect. On that note then, thank you so much for watching. Do remember to subscribe and make sure you follow my brother on Instagram because of the exploits. Because the exploits of that car will be uh, televised on his Instagram. Make sure also you check out the guys at DMS, the best in the game. You know about DMS by now. There's uh, plenty of... Oh, it does sound good. Enjoy that. Is he gone? Don't really know at this point. Oh, he has actually gone. Uh, see you later, mate. Well, thanks for saying bye. So yeah, make sure you check out DMS. And as I say, they've got procedures in place to ensure that should you want anything done with your car, they can operate They can operate with their new procedures. So make sure you go and check them out, put your car in and get in the mix. Keep me updated as well. If you do have anything done with your car, I want to know about it. And I will be picking some people's cars that have been tuned to film with on my channel because I'm very interested in this tuning side of things. So do DM me if you've had your car done here and we may well do a video together in the future, which is quite cool. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Do subscribe, blah, 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 and I'll see you all very, very soon. Bye now. Before I go then, make sure you go and check out the Revolut offer. The link is below in the pinned comment and in the description. Now it's finally time to go. Get in the mix, get involved, and I'll see you all very soon. Bye.